Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with Nicholas Braun. Hello there, Dana. I'm so happy that you made it here. I know Me you too. had the the big premiere for Disney's Prom last night. It was a crazy one. It was a it was a crazy premiere. It was exciting. It was one of the most insane red carpets I've ever been on. Yeah, why would you say that? I mean, I didn't even see you. I know it was really, really crazy. That's how crazy it was, that I didn't even have time to see you. I mean, I was busy, like, you know, mingling. There were a lot of girls in prom dresses. Yes. I'm not just gonna, like, avoid all what that. What did you wear? Did you wear a full, like, prom tux oh, at all? Oh, man. I, uh... <laughs> oh, I you a, got a reposition got a, like, here. <laughs> it was a hell of an outfit. I don't wear suits, ever. So I decided to get real snazzy for this thing. Yeah. So I wore a suit. I mean, I'm kind of a hard guy to fit because I'm six foot six. I'm like very long oh. and like clothes don't seem to come in my size that uh -huh. well. So we, we particularly went after this suit, made sure it fit. Uh, really like long, awesome, like British sort of vibe about it. Oh, very um, I slicked my hair back, you know. Oh, cool. Awesome. I was very happy with it. Did you wear a boutonniere? I saw a lot of those flowers floating around on the carpet. I did. I had my mom put my boutonniere on. Are you serious? Yeah, my mom was my prom date last night. That is so cute. I know. It was so really sweet. cool. Yeah, yeah. I was happy to have her there. My brother, too, mm -hmm. um, who's equally as tall. and So he was in a suit, too. We were like two big enforcers on the carpet. Nice. Yeah, it was awesome. So was this your second time seeing the film, or had you seen it a whole bunch of times? I've seen it twice now. Um, I, I love it more every time I see it, and and it's uh, it's such a it's such a different movie than I thought it would be. Uh, reading really? it, yeah, reading it, and then making it, um, I just don't think I had a good idea of what it was going to be as a, as an entire film. Uh, because as you know, it's like a bunch of different storylines, mm -hmm. big ensemble cast. So what, what I shoot in my storyline. I kind of don't even see anybody else, what, what they're working on. Oh, wow. So then I see the movie, and the music's awesome, and it looks good, and the cast does an incredible job. And um, so I'm like a huge cheerleader for this movie. It's really cool. I wish Lloyd, your character, was a cheerleader in the movie. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, Why would that get him dates if he was a male cheerleader? I feel like he, he could have tried it. He could probably swing a few dates with the, ch the cheerleading team. Yeah. Lift I mean, them up and show your, them his muscles. Or, oh, yeah. I don't know. Isn't your whole thing, you're just like the whole movie, you're just trying to find that perfect prom date? I am. Right? Yeah, he uh, he's basically ready to call it quits on high school, graduate, go to college, clean slate there. Mm -hmm. But his sister convinces him that um, he can redeem himself. So he decides a prom date will be will be the key. And so he just goes full force into it, you know, once he's decided he's going to go. Asking every girl, any girl, all different kinds of ways. Making them feel real special, right? Yeah. I and mean, you're a girl. <laughs> yeah. But he'll like, he'll try very hard for one particular girl. Mm -hmm. And then it'll fail. And then, okay, fine. He's cool. He's going to move on. So he gets, he gets like a pretty tough shell, I think, from all the rejections. I love some of the pickup lines that Lloyd has. Do any of them stand out in particular to you? Like you read it and you're like, this is hilarious. Yeah, I liked... Um, oh, this is demented. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a bit of both. Uh, I think the scene where um, where he goes up to this girl, this really pretty blonde girl, who he's probably fantasized about. You know, he's been like probably watching her in class for a few years. Um, <laughs> Lloyd's awkward like that. <laughs> <laughs> in a creepy way, though. Um, no, but... Uh, <laughs> so you say. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, so anyway, he goes up to her, and I think it's like a pretty... A pretty cool casual line, like, "Hey, one time you um, you asked, I asked you for a pencil, and then you said, yeah, yes, and then I, you took the pencil, and then you know, it's kind of like a cool little. Remember that time we had a moment there? Yeah. You know? And I think that works as a pickup line. Yeah, totally. Like, hey, Dana, remember that time when we were on a on a carpet, and you asked asked me a question, we and went then went for a magic carpet ride. Yeah. Yeah, we could take it there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, You're I'm thinking of Lloyd and how funny and weird he's he a weird kind guy. of is. He's a weird guy. What was it like working with the rest of the cast? Like you said, awesome ensemble cast. Yeah. Um, any people in particular who you really connected with while you were shooting? Um, I think I, I think I clicked with a few of them. I like Thomas a lot. I think Thomas is a cool guy. Um, because he's an East Coast guy. I'm from, I'm from the East Coast, so. I think yeah. you can't help but sort of vibe with those people. Totally. Um, same sort of like 
sarcastic sense of humor and uh -huh. kind of guys. Um, I like Kylie a lot, and she's brand new to acting, and I think she's doing an incredible job. Not to mention that she's gorgeous, but she does a great job in the movie, too. Awesome. Yeah. Of course, we got to ask about your prom experience or experiences. I had a few experiences. Mm. I did go to three proms. Man, you're the prom player. I'm a prom pimp. <laughs> um, yeah, it What's was. What's like one that stands out? Uh, my senior prom, my last prom, mm -hmm. f I went to a boarding school. Um, we rented out the top floor of a hotel in Boston Harbor, like overlooking Boston. And I forget wow. what the hotel was, but the f the floor spun really slowly. There was a dance floor in the middle that w stayed still, and then everything around it, all the tables, you know, um, where we had like a nice fancy dinner ahead of time, would spin so you'd see the whole city. It was really Sounds romantic. Sounds like you had a really nice prom. It was a really nice prom, yeah. We, we normal folk don't have proms like that. Oh no, that's not a typical <laughs> place to go. Did you, did you have a cool theme? Oh man, I don't know if we had a theme. I don't think so. I think that was enough to just yeah, be just in that be amazing. In in yeah. So if you were planning a prom like Amy T. Garden's character Nova does for right. the movie, right. what theme would you choose? What vibe would you really want the other students to have while they're living the night of their lives? How about like a zoo theme? A zoo theme. Yeah. How about like everybody's kind of got like an animal thing going on? You get to the prom, <laughs> you pick out an animal mask oh, or yeah? like. A chicken nose a or chicken something. Nose. You go take a picture like in hay or you know, there are different like hay. settings you can take pictures at. That's like the most creative creative theme I have heard. Yeah, and then yet. I don't know, then you have like some <laughs> animal wranglers at the place, like bringing monkeys around and Oh yeah. Like maybe there's an elephant in the parking lot to go, I don't know. Let's get That would weird actually with be it. really cool. Yeah. Kinda strange but cool. What what animal would you be? Oh man, I would probably be. <laughs> this is, this is, yes, you're we are really going there. Getting to know me now. Yeah. Um, I've always loved bears. So you would be a bear. I'd be a bear. I mean, I'm big enough, and I'm good <laughs> at sort of claw stuff. So. Um, so if you were going to a normal prom, like, what would your dream tux be? Um. Would you do the whole blue powder blue ruffle thing or like all a, white? I don't I don't no. know. I don't think so. It's always a good idea and then you wear it and you're like, "Oh god, I'm just a I look like a jerk." Oh. You know. I think I mean, I think uh, Jim Carrey did it best and I don't think he could be beat dumb and dumber. Mm. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. Him and Lloyd. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I don't know. I think I would probably go Let's say like an old 60s, like Joe Nussbaum, the director last night, yeah. went in a really old school, I saw like that. 70s maybe, prom, ruffles brown, sort of like a weird color. Uh -huh. I think I could rock that well. I think you could do that too. Yeah. It's not too crazy, but it's a little weird. And what would be your go-to dance move? Um, oh man, I'm re I have a lot of dance moves. No. Um, <laughs> which which one can you pull out of your pocket right now? Right now? I'm, I'm pulling one out. What is it? How about double dutch? You mean like jump You ropes? got three people. You got one on this side, one on this side. They're doing imaginary ropes <laughs> with their yeah. hands, and I'm in the middle, jumping around, beep, bop, boop, doing all sorts of songs, double dutch songs. That's awesome. It's pretty awesome. And you get a good workout as well. You get a nice Obviously, calm glow. Obviously, cardio. Yeah, it's a big factor. <laughs> um, no, it's it's an awesome move. It really brings the crowd around you. And then people who you know don't normally dance, they're like, I want to try that, and they think that it's real jump ropes. Use your imagination. That's what it takes. Yeah, that's what it takes. Yeah. So why should we all run out and see prom in theaters? Um, well, I don't double dutch in the movie, but. I think uh, I think it's fun to watch Lloyd get rejected. <laughs> I think it's fun to to root for him. Um, but, but as as a film, I think it uh, I think it has something for everybody in it. I mean, that's sort of cliche to say, but there are there are all sorts of storylines that are really relatable for high school kids. Mm -hmm. You know, high school is a place where you don't really know where you're at sometimes, and I think this movie captures it really well. Mm -hmm. like not exactly knowing what the right play is or who to date or like what to say and what to do and then realize it all comes together in the end in a nice way. Love so, it. Go with that. 
love how you tied that up in a pretty little package. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This yeah. is really fun. It was fun to be here. Yeah, this is the penthouse suite, huh? Yeah, watch out. This is really great. Hey, you, Clever if you're a TV. board school, board school, uh, high schooler. Boarding you know, school, Boarding yeah. school. Mm -hmm. The expectations are high, so thank you. Yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Uh, it was awesome. I would have loved to take you to my own prom. Oh, a gentleman. You heard it here first. Yeah, we did. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to Clever TV. Make sure you check out Disney's Prom. It hits theaters April 29th, starring Nicholas Braun and a whole lot other great people here in Hollywood. I'm Dana Ward, and we'll see you soon.